To me, HIV means having a whole added complicated metric to life. Every decision I make, everything I do in the course of my day has that extra level of consideration. Um, whether it's pushing myself too far physically at the gym, whether it's if I take on some other job or some other endeavor, if I'm adding too much stress to my life. It's wondering about how people are going to react to me if I disclose to them. It's wondering how I feel about myself because of my status. Um, constantly battling with feelings of depression and anxiety and questioning my own self-worth. Um, and trying to be optimistic, trying to be positive, um, and trying to make the most of life as I possibly can. Oh, HIV has caused me a lot of grief over the years. I've lived with it for virtually half of my life. The first 10, 15 years were years of fear, uh, when a lot of my friends were getting sick and dying. So for me it was about uh, fear, about losing my own life, but initially it was about would I ever have a partner? Would I ever have someone who was going to be my companion, you know, for much of my life, which is something I always wanted. For so long, the onus of responsibility on keeping the community safe from HIV has been squarely with the HIV positive community, especially when we want to talk about treatment and prevention. Now, with PrEP, negative guys have the power to take control of their own safety in relation to HIV, and it's really exciting. PrEP stands for pre-exposure prophylaxis. Taking of pills in a, in a non-medical jargon way um, so that you don't end up HIV positive. I believe that had PrEP been available before I was diagnosed with HIV, I would certainly have been on PrEP. Well, the reason I say I would have been on PrEP if it had been approved in Australia and available is because I was aware of my sexuality and how it plays out in my life. Um, it's why I regularly got tested. Uh, it's why I never feared going to um, the clinic to get checked up. Um, it's why I'm now also in the best position to take care of my health and well-being as I look forward. But I would have been on PrEP because um, I acknowledge that, you know, I'm not perfect either. I think PrEP has always been an option on the cards and it's unfortunate that we didn't understand the efficacy of providing antiretrovirals before as a way of prevention. We've always understood, even back in 1997-98, that it was effective in a post-exposure situation where someone had been possibly exposed. I wish um, that PrEP had been understood as something that could be as effective as a pre-exposure technique. If PrEP had been available before I was diagnosed, I would never have been diagnosed. I would not have HIV. We have to get PrEP approved and then onto the PBS as quickly as possible. I don't want to see anyone else have to acquire HIV when we know something like PrEP is available. My message to the Australian government, you took 10 years to approve rapid testing in this country. Do not take that long to approve PrEP. It is a valuable tool. To anybody in the Australian government who has the power, the authority, and the ability to act, I say one thing to you, act now. PrEP works. The science is there, the facts are in. PrEP prevents HIV. PrEP has the ability and the power to change what the HIV epidemic means, and it has the ability to end HIV in Australia.